This is my testing song. Testing on my things with my testing song. Please, won't you hum along? Testing on my things with my testing song. Okay. Okay. <coughs> So I gave Mr. Maked a challenge. Okay, Mr. Maked, here is your assignment should you choose to accept it. You have $20 to find one or more of the weirdest things you can find in here, and I will turn them into art. Okay. In hindsight, it was a very bad idea to use the phrase weirdest things, because um, he delivered. We got a bunch of toys. Here's some octopus. We have markers. That's a start, right? I don't think any of those are going to write on these. Mm. Well, I don't. I can use my own art supplies. I just have to yeah. have a base item from. Yeah, I was trying to, yeah. trying to be utilitarian here. You don't need to make this any harder than it already is. There we go. Yep. Someone's got to sit on that. <laughs> I can't figure out what's going to go with this. Well, that's my job. I just need someone to sit on There's never anything wrong with an Etch-a-Sketch. Except when the Etch-a-Sketch only kind of works. Mm. Okay. Oh, we're turning back this way. We're grabbing the Etch-a-Sketch. Okay. Is that a pug? No, that's me. Maybe? <laughs> There's nothing accidental about this. I, I think it's supposed to be some sort of massager, which is oh. even worse. Oh, I'm quite aware. Yep, sequins. Sequins will help. Lots of dog butts, but no dog heads. That's just odd. <laughs> yep. He looks like he could be a friend. <clears throat> okay. We're, uh... Man. He's Snoopy in a race car. <laughs> Give this man a challenge and he will go for it. Oh, it's missing the butt. We could add one of those dog butts from over there. It's true. I reserve any, like, what I have to do with this stuff until I actually get it home and, and see what I have. Does it all have to go in one thing? No. Okay. I'm going to say no, because I think at this point we've we've passed up that option completely. I actually kind of like that as it is. Yeah, right? That's kind of half the reason I'm going to do it. Alright, I think the just sketch is going to stay. Okay. These guys. So, we have some sequins and thread. Uh, angel, candle holder. I'm not even going to put a name to that. Uh, lighthouse. Snoopy and a gorilla. I I honestly have no idea what I'm going to do with this, but we're going to find out. So I will see you again at the studio. So looking at the items he got for me, I think the best idea is to actually split it into two groups. Uh, team A is going to have the angel and the back massager as one piece of art, and team two is going to have everything else as a different piece of art. Uh, for the first piece of art, the plan is to kind of paint the angel as outer space, nebula-ish, and then use the globes on the back massager as planets, and either hang them around or put them on there. I'll, I'll figure that out as I go. Now this is going to be the green screen portion, hopefully if I can figure out how to do that correctly. Future Miss Meg here. Past me spent about six hours setting up this amazing new camera and microphone set that Mr. Make got for me. But at the last minute, when she went to record, she forgot to turn on the audio. <laughs> Oops. These things happen, so I'm going to kind of translate for you what you're seeing so that you don't really miss out on any of the good stuff. So, I started by taking the copper, brass, I'm not really sure what it is, angel, and giving it a nice solid coat of black. I was a little worried that the acrylic paint wouldn't stay on the metal, um, so I did water it down slightly and then build it up as I went, but it seems to be hanging on there pretty well, so score one for me. 
Then I also did a black coating on the globes from the back massager thing, which I was able to thankfully just pull apart. Um, one of them does have a dowel that's sticking out of it, um, but after some futzing, trying to pull it off, it didn't really, it's, it's stuck in there pretty good. So I'm just going to leave it and maybe drill a hole through it and hang it. I'm, I'm not really sure about that one yet. But uh, I was able to give it a nice coat of black and then realize that I was holding it with nowhere to put it down. And it kind of looked like a caramel apple of doom. So I might have tried to eat it, but I didn't. And then I dropped it and then I dropped it again. And then I tried to use a vise to try and hold it, which ended up dropping it on the floor, but I eventually got it up and managed to paint the other globe black. Anywho, after all of that, um, I started painting what was going to be the nebulas on the angel. I started with a very watered down paint to get that organic shape kind of spreading out across the surface. I was using Thallo blue and thallo green, which I've never had before, and it's just a beautiful color. I love it so much. Um, so I started in layers, working up from dark to bright, uh, letting the paint be more opaque as I did, until I got kind of a gaseous cloud kind of look. Then uh, I set that aside to dry and started on the globe, where I put down several layers of darker paints and again worked up to bright. I, I know there are art professors who will disagree with me on this, but I like starting with a dark base when I want bright colors because it forces me to work in layers, which inevitably means I'm, I'm putting on bit by bit by bit and building up and I think the colors end up being more bright and vibrant at the end. Um, but don't fight me on that because I'm, I don't know. It's just how it looks to me. But I got through a few layers of the darker blues and greens on there. And then, because <laughs> I am not technology savvy, um, my SD card on my camera filled up and I ran out of footage. And so I had nothing but a black screen for the rest of that. But I did finish up uh, putting the colors on the globe, which I can show to you now. So that globe ended up being, if it'll, if it'll, there we go, uh, focus in on that. Nice little kind of planet. It's got an ice top. Uh, I didn't really do anything with the bottom because it's, it's not going to be seen, hopefully. But it's got some little land masses and things on it. And it's kind of cute. I like it. And then I took the angel and I added a bunch of stars. And this is the point at which I actually started liking it a bit. I'm, I'm not liking the back. It's, that's the back. I don't like the shapes, but I'm kind of just, it is what it is. It's a candle holder. So what I can do now is drop that little little planet on there and let me I'm wearing a lot of black let me grab my apron here which is I'm falling oh no everything's letting go okay let me grab my apron so I can show you kind of what this this actually looks like with uh, that's not working at all you can kind of see some of the detail there and she's she's holding up this this planet and uh, it's not done yet obviously um, because there's another whole planet to do but that is as much as I got done on day one so now I'm going to paint the second planet um, figure out if I'm going to hang it or cut that dowel off and just set it somewhere or do Something. I honestly have no clue what I'm doing next, but I have a plan. I have part of a plan. I kind of sort of nebulously have a plan. Let's just, let's just go do it.
It looks like a lumpy pumpkin. A lumpy, dead, and decayed pumpkin. It, um, it's not a moon. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's a thing. Whoop. <sighs> so, I finished painting the, uh, moon. It doesn't really look like moon at all. It looks like sand glued to a rock. And this is just annoying me. So, um, oh no, I've lost them. They're gone and I don't know where they could be. So, I've got this though, and this is amazing, and I like it, so we're gonna call it done. Yay! <laughs> so this is my final piece. It's lovely. Uh, the world is a little precarious because her plate that she holds it with moves around a bit, but I just like to think that if it's spinning on its axis. It's, it's scientifically accurate is what it is. It's, it's an accurate model of the universe in thrift store find form. That's, that's, that's what it is. But um, now that it's had a chance to dry, it, it looks a lot better than I thought it was going to. Uh, even the little galaxies on the back have kind of uh, muted down to where they, they blend in better. And of course, I'll show you a lot of close-ups at the end so that you can see all the details. Um, but overall, it, it worked. It's lovely. It's jiggling and making noise, but I like it. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's a thing that I've made and I'm proud of it. So on to part B. For my second project, I had this idea to bring all of these unique items into one cohesive scene using a diorama. So I started by diving into my trash and recycling and getting a bunch of cardboard and foam and styrofoam that I could cut up and glue down using hot glue into this sort of natural cliffside looking shape. Then, after the glue had settled and dried, I took some acrylic paint and went over it with a base coat. I haven't done one of these since like third grade, so there are lots of mistakes that I made and I might go back and redo this later. But I will say, it was fun. It was a lot of fun doing this. It Granted, it was 11 o'clock at night and I was running on caffeine, so I might have been a little slap happy, but this was fun. So after I laid down my paints, I came back with uh, some of those sequins that Mr. Make Ted picked out and laid them down over the water area with some Elmer's glue, which thankfully dried clear, to create a sort of reflective watery texture that I was really surprised at worked out pretty well. After all of that, I went and grabbed Snoopy. I gave him a base coat of blue and then use some metallic blues and silvers and a little bit of purple to give him a more modern updated look and replace that faded grayed out chassis that he had been driving.
then, after everything had dried, it was time to assemble. And it's done! Look! I'm, I'm so proud of myself! I, I made this out of weird thrift things and trash! <laughs> but, um, okay, so I've, I've created a little scene. We have, we have Geraldine here, who is receiving a wonderful package of crafting supplies from Snoopy Delivery Services, which she is obviously celebrating receiving because she has wanted them for quite some time. And um, you can't see it, I'll, I'll add some close-ups at the end, but she's got a lovely lay of some of the sequins and her skirt made out of a piece of scrap fabric that I found in the trash. <laughs> and there's even a bow at the back. I took the time to make a bow even though I knew no one was gonna see it. But I did it and I'm proud of myself. Um, the one remaining question that I have not answered this entire time is whether or not this turns on. And I don't know. I don't know the answer to that, but we're about to find out because I've got it wired through and it's got a bulb in it that it came with, but we're gonna find out if that's something it actually does. So here we go and <gasps> it lights up! that! It lights up! It's so pretty! Hold on, let me turn off my light so you can, you can see it better. Um, it's, it's gorgeous! It's pretty! I like it! I'm, I'm so proud of this! Um, I, I went into this thinking that the angel part of this would be the part that I really liked, and this would just be trash, but, well, it is trash, but it's awesome trash. Uh, and I made it. <laughs> and it's, it's far better than I expected, especially for not knowing what I was doing. And I enjoyed it. I really did. I, I did a lot of painting. I learned things new and, and it's fun. So, um, with this and with my lovely angel here. Uh, we are going to bid you adieu for this video, but uh, there's going to be bloopers at the end, of course, and if you like this video, then like it, or subscribe, or there's a, there's apparently a bell. There's a bell. You should, you should click it and find out what happens. <laughs> um, thank you. For, for joining me on this little adventure of technical difficulties and trash, but I hope you had fun, because I did, and I will see you next time. So, bye! In hindsight, it was a berry, yeah, berry, 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 yeah. <laughs> Future Miss Mike here. Past me is none of that worked. None of that worked. Let's just <laughs> okay. Yeah. Nice fiddle.